period, frequency, and rotational velocity. In kinematics and dynamics, we only considered objects that were at rest or objects moving in straight lines. In this chapter, we are going to study objects moving in a circle. One of the main differences between linear and circular motion is that circular motion repeats. Linear motion, you might start at point A and move over to point B. With circular motion, you'll keep moving in a circle over and over again. Since an object in circular motion will repeat a cycle, it might be useful to know how long it takes to go once around a circle. This is what we call period, the time it takes to move one trip around a circular path. So to find period, you take the time it takes an object to move around a circle for a number of trips and divide it by the number of trips. The time it takes is represented by a lowercase t and the number of trips is represented by a lowercase n. Since period is a specific amount of time, it is represented by a capital T.